Hello, I'm Jane, and welcome to my new channel. This is um, Living Your Best Life After 65. I'm 68 years old, and um, I am living here on beautiful Whidbey Island, and I'm going to share my day-to-day -day life with all you out there that might be interested. So today, for my first video, for my new channel, um, Thriving After 65, I, I have my first Shane um, haul. It's not a very big haul, but it's interesting. And uh, I just want to show people out there that even after 65, you can still uh, take care of yourself. So I'll show you what I got. Done playing with my Shane haul and uh, looking at all my things and trying things on. So uh, I'm going to um, prep dinner early today, uh, making tuna cheesies. It's something I've made ever since I was a newlywed for my children and my husband. We've had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner many, many times through the years. So um, I think most people call it a tuna melt, but the original recipe that I took out of probably a, a Betty Crocker cookbook I got for a wedding gift, they called it a tuna cheesy. It's very simple. So I'll, I'll show you what I'm making for dinner. These are the ingredients, very simple. Got your mayo, some sweet pickles, my little swirly mixer, the lid. I've gone through three or four of these over the years. This one uh, fell on the floor the other day and I think it broke. I might get one more use in it. A couple of cans of tuna, uh, a fresh tomato, some cheddar cheese, my cutting knife, my my can opener, and a uh, foot favorite bread, Seattle International Classic French Bread. So anyway, so I'm going to make this up very easy. Just make the tuna with the mayo and chop up some pickles. Um, put it all on bread. Put the cheese and the tomato on top of that and put it under the broiler for a few minutes. Couldn't get easier than that, but um, and it tastes good. So there we have the cheese is done, tomatoes done, tuna salad's done. All that's left, uh oh, ginger, hello. All that's left is assembly. There we are. So the cheese is just melting. And I put mayonnaise, I say cheese on the tuna, tomato on the cheese, and um, a little dollop of mayonnaise on the tomato. They look delicious. All right, I've got my concealer on over my foundation. I just used the two products, I used my e.l.f. foundation. Um, I use an e.l.f. sponge. I just started using sponges. Where they've been my whole life. Never used them. You know, I know what it is. Um, when I was raising four children, I didn't spend a lot of extra money on myself for personal care products. It was just like, funds had to go for food for those four children and for shoes on their feet. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I couldn't I couldn't justify $100 a month on makeup products and all of this other things of which I just I just thought, you know, they weren't priorities at that time in my life. And uh and now now it's more fun. It's like, wow, I'm having fun with it. Um I've been married for almost 48 years. So it's it's not like I had to be doing up the face to impress anyone. I just want to feel better about myself. And so that's what this is. Okay, I don't, I don't know. This is just like, this is like putting pi lipstick on a pig now. I'm just, I'm just dabbing and thinking it's going to get better than it is. But no, this is where it is. Okay, so now, ugh, the hardest part, doing the eyes. All right. Eyebrows, just a, a just a simple fill in, nothing fancy, nothing um, too crazy. Uh, I went for a neutral eye, a soft neutral eye today. Yesterday, when I was looking uh, at my video and I was editing, I thought, "Wow, Jane, you look like you got two black eyes." I mean, I I was really heavy-handed with the 
dark eyeshadow, dark brown eyeshadow. So today I went a little bit lighter. I just uh, started with a light cocoa in the corners and then a little bit of blue gray and then a, a little bit of um, beigey white and then I blended it. Um, I just started using makeup brushes. I'm still learning. So I applied the eyeshadow with this one. It's got a more narrow tip and then I blended with this fluffier one. It's got a, a little bit more flared tip. But anyway, I did my eyeshadows with these. Um, and then I used my, for mascara, I used uh, Voluminous, and then I did two or three coats with Root. They're both uh, dark brown. I found that black, now at my age, black, black anything, black um, eyebrow, black mascara, black anything, just, uh, it was really harsh. It looked to me, to me, it just looks harsh. And I just want to, I just want a blended face. I just want to look pleasant, pleasantly nice. I don't want to look like, like, you know, I'm going clubbing. <laughs> Not, you know, I've never been to a club ever, ever. So I don't even really know what I'm talking about when it comes to clubs. Okay, so um, the last step is my favorite, all the blushy, the blushies and the highlights. That's my favorite part. All right, so this is my blush, my blush brush. I used the rosy. Um, I might have been a little bit heavy-handed with it, but it's uh, it's been raining all week. Oh my goodness, it's been raining all fall, and now it's winter. I mean, it's the Pacific Northwest. We get rain, but I mean, we got this whole atmospheric river thing coming through. The Pineapple Express, we used to call it. I don't know why they call it an atmospheric river. When I was growing up, it was rain, and, and then there was rain, and then there was a lot of rain. So I, I don't know where they're coming up with all these highfalutin atmospheric rivers. All I know is we're getting a lot of rain, and so it's, it's, uh, it's dark outside. It's dark all day, overcast and dark. So I thought, you know what, if I'm going outside, I want to put a little bit of color back in my cheeks. Um, I might have I might have put too much. I'm gonna try to get some of that off, and then um, this is my this is my blender, or I don't know, it's not my blender. It's just a face brush, and I try to get some of the extra off. And so then I used um, these were too big to use my my highlighter, my Elf highlighter, my cutesy. I don't know what I do with it. This one. So I used, here we go, this brush for the highlighter and I just did bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on the high points of my cheeks and my my cupid's lip right there. Um, yeah, that was, that was good enough. So the brushes, I just washed my brushes. Uh, I bought some Castile soap and I just uh, washed them and then lay them flat on a towel to dry. And so they're all good to go now for a, a few more days before, before they, they gross me out. And I'll think, you know what, I, I need to wash these again. So, but it was really easy to do. It's, I don't know why I don't do it more often. It's so easy. Okay, so time to take the curlers out. Okay, I'm ready to go. Um, little Walmart pearls couple dollars just costume jewelry pearls it's my everyday look um just um revlon lipstick a little lip gloss that's all um i feel presentable this is my everyday look when i go to the grocery store or something if i uh if i'm feeling good so um all that's left is a tiny tiny bit of perfume i like oh i love this eve saint laurent Opium, old school, but it's still good. One, two, that's all. And yeah, I'll put my I'll put my whole outfit together, and I'll show you my whole look once I style it. Ready? All right. Here's the whole look. 
This is my day of errands. My shoes are Skechers. This came in my Stitch Fix. It's a, a bag, a mustard bag by Fiorelli. Um, my hand sanitizer I got at Walmart. I I love I love the mustard color. It's a it's actually a a shoulder cross bag. There we go. I love it. I love my Stitch Fix. Um, this is my going shopping, doing air errands. Um, I feel good about myself. I'm not embarrassed if I if I met anybody in this store that I knew. I wouldn't be embarrassed. I am, um, you know, I feel put together. So I'm just wearing tights, legging tights, whatever, because um, it's cold outside. It's 36 degrees this morning. And I'm not wearing pants, but I want my legs to be warm. So yeah. I like, I like it. It's very comfortable. I'm ready to go.